in some more Pokemon action. Oh, we got Garvar and Krogunk. Okay, that's not something I expect to see. I don't remember Zoroff having a Krogunk. So, all right, this will be interesting. The Speaky staying tuned to her Garvar. See how she makes the transition because um, she used to be a lot more prevalent in the Wii U days, but she hasn't been too active since the DX drop. So we can see how much she can retain and how much she has suggested. Okay, She's starting off the match. Start off setting up some gunk shot shenanigans. Ooh, okay, the JY. Nice getting out right there. So, my experience playing Krogunk, I feel like it's um, one of his hardest traces that I don't think his field is very good. I think he has a really struggle in the field. I think it's a character like Garbar can have a very controlling field phase. It can really be difficult for him to get momentum right off the bat. Anyway, Speak Easy setting up so much damage on his Zoroff, just not able to make that approach happen. Poking for some kind of damage here. Oh, a nice tech, uh, um, reset situation right there with the grab. Zeroff just really in a not not very good situation. Oh, but the, now that he's enraged, some some better gunk shot results might be applied here. Ooh, but the grab crush is going to snap it right there. Speak Easy taking the first round pretty solidly. And doing so, she also is almost at her burst. Oh, with her Jiro, looks like she has reached it right there. And that's going to be really uh, prevalent because Garvar's burst is the longest lasting in the game by quite a huge margin. So when she pops that, she's going to be a very dominating force for quite a good amount of match. Ooh, the explosion actually working out a little bit in Zoroff's favor, doing a lot of chip damage on the Speakeasy. Oh, but here comes the burst activation. Oh, Electrode coming into play, but oh, Speakeasy not able to grab. Just a little bit out of range. Alright, so Zoroff might want to be thinking about popping his own burst here for coming soon. Oh, no! Okay, so... What happened there is that Zaroff was not able to beat out the light attack armor from Speakeasy's burst, and he is gonna get punished for it. He had the right idea trying to stuff it out, but if he were in burst, it would have worked. But unfortunately, not in a good situation. Ooh, the forward wise. So much damage, but Zaroff now going into his own burst. Do some air approaches. Oh, his burst gets stuffed out by Garvor Sidewise. Oh, Snivy coming into play. Ooh. Oh, nice shot by Speakeasy. A very, very dominating first game right there. Let's see if we have, we already seen some character changes from Zoroff, but Speakeasy, very, very strong beginning. Okay, going into this next round here, no changes from Zoroff. Let's see if some better situation can apply here. I think Zoroff really needs to, um,. He, he's definitely approaching a lot, but um, Krogan might have an easy time also throwing out gunshots or forward wise and pointing things, stuff like that. Try and challenge uh, Sneaky from a distance, but mm, I don't know. I'm not quite sure about how this matchup fares, but it's look, it's looking pretty rough right now for Zoroff. Okay, Sneaky's so just keeping her distance, throwing out her. Um, array of projectiles covering both the air and the ground. Ooh, here comes a combo off of the counter. Man, Speakeasy's just projectile um, management is just so impressive. Oh, and nice snipey usage right there, getting him right out of the air. Sniping him in the air, but not able to finish the job. Oh, and the side right there beating it. Zoroff probably expecting a grab. Speakeasy just on such a dominating lead right now. Zoroff is having a hard time dealing with all of this. I do, um, I am uh, interested in his choice of Electrode. Um, Electrode can be a pretty, um, pretty good choice against, um, a lot more projectile based characters, such as, like, Garvoir. So if you see, um, projectile coming that you can counter, you can use Electrode and start gaining some momentum. Oh man, just in that first field phase, so much damage onto Zoroff. And there's the grab right there, a perfect ending the game in a perfect speak easy taking it in a very very solid very quick 2-0 victory very very strong stuff good to see that she is keeping her keeping her skill throughout the break that she had